Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies, your leaders in power products. Um, today I just quickly want to touch on connecting an auxiliary bank of or solar panel or panels to your caravan that also has fixed um, solar panels already on it. Um, it's really important um, that because generally they're not going to be the same voltage and the same uh, open circuit voltage critically of, of the panels that are on your roof, I uh, highly recommend that you have a separate solar controller going to your battery bank in your caravan or, or your car if you've got a battery, decent battery bank in your car with a fixed solar on there. Um, have it completely separate to the solar controller that's already in there. This for two reasons. Sometimes it will actually over overload the charger from a current point of the perspective, which is not going to damage it by any means. It just means that you're wasting that power because it's not going to get through if you maximize your controller. So if you've got, uh, say, a um, 500 watts of solar uh, on your roof and you've got a 30 amp uh, MPPT, then that will be fine for that um, to maximize um, the current at 30 amps and you'll actually have a little bit of redundancy built in there you know like solar systems at home if you've got a five kilowatt system on your home then generally put six and a half kilowatts of solar panels up there to try and maximize in low light conditions as well um, but you will never get more than your five kilowatts so what i'm saying is if you've got a say 100 over 30 solar controller you've got 500 watts of solar on your roof you've got that plugged into that, that's all well and good. You come along with your portable 300, 350 watt solar blanket and plug that in that's wired into that same controller in there. You're not really gonna get any extra power into your batteries at all because A, you're gonna maximize it out. However, if the open circuit voltage of that portable panel is a lot lower than the open circuit voltage of the ones on the roof, what you will actually do is lose power because it will pull it down to the voltage of the portable one that you're putting in. So that you're actually worse off then than what you are just by having the ones on the roof. So that's why we recommend that if you're ever going to put a portable uh, or an, an external uh, solar array into your fixed system in your van, have a separate solar controller that you can still have wired permanently in the van but just have its own connection going out and its own connection then going to the battery charging system. Uh, or you can just have a Anderson plug that goes from there directly to the battery and use like an external controller that comes with some of the portable devices as long as you plug that in between the solar controller and the van. However, if there is a, like a two or three meter run of cable between where the controller on the outside of the van is to the batteries, you, you, you are going to have a little bit of voltage drop there. So it's always recommended that your charges always be as close to the battery that you're trying to charge as possible. So for that reason, I would say have a fixed one, but just a smaller one um, inside. So if it's like a you know, 100 over 20 or, you know, or keep the 100 over 30 that you might have and put 100 over 50 on there and maximize your, your, your solar on the roof as well as what's coming in there. So it's, it is important to, to utilize a separate controller, keep, we'll keep them separated, uh, rather than going through one big device. Uh, and sometimes it actually works out cheaper as well. It'll work out cheaper to buy two smaller to medium sized controllers than one really big controller. So if you think, oh, I'm gonna go out there and get a 150 over, over 80 or uh, 85 or whatever from a Victron point of view, you know, you, you're up there close to a thousand dollars in some of some of those bigger ones um, whereas you can get two smaller ones for like three or four hundred dollars and because you're not using it all the time anyway you're only using it when you're doing it and you'll, you'll maximize your um, your power as well so if you do have extra power to spend I would say put it uh, extra money to spend I should say and you want more power I would say put it into putting more solar the more solar the better and will keep you off grid for a lot longer but what a lot of people don't realize is to me solar is more important when it is cloudy and overcast because there's no substitute for how big your array is then you will maximize and get a lot more coverage of solar into your batteries in low light conditions everyone every panel will create good amounts of solar in perfect sunlight but once it starts getting shady that's when you need to maximize and have a really big solar array so that you can still you know, try and get a good amount of solar back into your battery because otherwise eventually you are going to run out of power. If you have a few cloudy, inclement days or rain, um, yeah, it makes it hard to do that. So the more solar you've got, the better.
So hopefully that um, enlightens you a little bit more about the solar and getting it into your caravan and having that separate solar controller is imperative. So until next time, bye for now.